did I put Hey Seattle Naturals, it's Journey Payne. Um, I'm going to show you a flat twist and curl out. <laughs> um, if you remember a few days ago, I did the uh, flat twist updo um, with the Marley bun. So I took the Marley bun off and the ends of my twists, I just unraveled about that much. And I applied the Good Hair in a Bottle Resilient Styling Foam. Very light, very conditioning um, hold, and I, um, yeah, so I applied the ends and then I used these rollers. So I'm going to go ahead and take these down and you can see how it turns out. A nice full curl, which I like. As you can see, I had to pin some of these on because the hair wasn't trying to really stay on there so these rollers you have to be careful i like these rollers because they hold the hair um taut i guess but they do have these little teeth on them so i don't i don't pull it against my hair i just wrap the hair around like that and these little teeth kind of hold the hair so it doesn't slip off the roller um which is why I like them, but you have to be really careful taking them out because they will snag your hair. Uh, if you use them, you may want to use um, the little roller papers that they have to prevent the snagging, but I, I like them. So this is a really big curl, as you can see. I, I was torn between the um, perm rods and these, but I did. I wanted a full curl, a bigger full curl, so... You'll be just as surprised at the outcome as I will. <laughs> so far, so good, though. I, I'm liking it so far. My hair is shiny. I um, sprayed some leave-in conditioner on it. This, which is just my water and uh, kinky curly not today leave-in conditioner. I sprayed that on it before, like, all over my head even around here and everything. Um, and then I applied the setting foam to the ends and then just rolled it up. So what's your guys' favorite rollers? Like I have these, I have the regular magnetic rollers that, you know, they're smooth with the holes in them and you use a hairpin to keep them on. I have flexi rods and I have perm rods and I think um I think these and perm rods are probably my favorite um because they have holes in them they can breathe um and so my hair dries um I like the set of uh flexi rods but they don't breathe and it takes my hair a really long time to dry with those so Anyway, as you can see, it's twisted down and then smooth at the end. Some people twist it all the way down and then put the roller on, but I prefer not to have the, I, I prefer a smoother curl. And when I do it with the ends twisted, they're um, like crinkly and I don't like that. I like the curls to be smooth. And like, yeah, they're pretty smooth. Okay, so got all the rollers out. Now I'm gonna use my Good Hair in a Bottle Birdie Oil Mist. And this isn't, um, this hasn't been released yet, um, but it's really good. It's, it's kind of like a, um, oil sheen what is it like an oil sheen you know like in the aerosol bottle it's been a while i haven't used that since my perm days but this um kind of the same concept except you spray it there's no aerosol and all that in it Ooh, it smells really really good makes your hair really smooth like it really smooths the hair down i put it on there before i take my um 
twist down to, as you can see, Ooh, you see all that shine? Look at that. Anyway, <laughs> I put it on there before I take my roller or my uh, twist down to keep the hair from being frizzy. And I'm going to probably put some on there again after I take them all down. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take these down pretty quickly. Trying not to disturb the curl too much. So I like the fact that, you know, they're flat twisted, so they're going to come apart in sections already so I don't I won't have to do too much um separating of the curls as I take them down. They're already pretty sorry I forgot to turn my uh <laughs> forgot to turn my thing off my phone so it might vibrate as I'm making this video. Anyway So when I had prepared this, if you remember, I washed, I co-washed, I conditioned with the good hair in a bottle conditioner. And, if, you know, before I tw twisted my hair up, or before I blow dried, so my hair has been um, stretched with a blow dryer um, before I twisted these up. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. The curl isn't very prominent. Um, but we're going to make it work either way, so <laughs> maybe I should have used the perm rods. I would have got a tighter curl, but we'll see once it's all taken out. Tighter curl may have been in order for this. Be careful. I get kind of impatient and I just start pulling my hair apart, but don't do I've decided I've have I have some pretty strong hair because I don't I'm not as you know disciplined <laughs> with my hair as I know I should be. I tend to get impatient. I tend to not wear my sleeping satin scarf all the time. It's just genetics, you guys. I'm not, I'm not I don't have magic hair or anything. <laughs> it's just genetics, cause I am. I mean, you know, with the information that I've, you know, the things that I've learned over the years, yes, it helps. But I don't. I'm just not as disciplined. I don't. You guys are always like, "Oh, have you tried that?" No, no, because I'm lazy. I'm not. I don't have time for no blood rinses and all that. I mean, I do have time, but I don't. I just get like, oh, I'm not doing all that. I'm trying to get better though. I, there's so many things that I want to try um, that just with all my hair is kind of just a lot. And, you know, I've been natural for 11 years. So I, um, you know, I've tried some things in my time. <laughs> and, sometimes the stuff doesn't work and then I'm pissed because I've done you know spent all this time and it's like nothing like I've when I was coloring my hair I was really trying not to use permanent color um because it you know can be damaging to your hair but so I would do all this stuff read all these tips on how to get semi-permanent color to you know take and at the time I didn't know about like porosity of hair and things like that and so i have um low porosity hair so which means it you know this cuticle is sealed pretty tightly um i have to you know use alkaline products to open up the cuticle so that it gets maximum maximum moisture which is you know why i've decided now i do use shampoo because it opens up my hair to uh, <laughs> it opens up my hair to receive moisture um, but I, I do that like once a month and then co-wash the other times but um, 
anyway, yeah, so I'd try to put color in it, semi-permanent color. I'd be sitting there under the dryer, I mean, and it, nothing. It would be totally just nothing. And then I tried the infamous banana and, um, what is it called? Banana avocado? Dude. Just even thinking that makes my stomach turn. The smell killed me. Like, at first, I was like, oh, it smells so good, but... <laughs> After a while, I was like, oh my goodness, I need it all out of my hair. And even after I rinsed it, it was, I could still smell it. And it was just like a big mess all over my bedroom. And <laughs> I was like finding avocado banana particles like on the wall. It was, it was a hot mess. Like it was just really, um, it was just really messy and just, and it didn't really, I didn't notice a difference, but I, I think I, did it wrong so <laughs> okay so huh, not bad not bad okay so my ends here like in the back part are not as curly as they are in the front which is okay we're gonna make it work yes we are I might even put the back up or I don't know but so I'm gonna spray a little more of this I'm just being extra. Anyway, Danielle used um, that on our hair for the good hair in a bottle commercial, like I was saying in the other, ugh, and it smelled so good. We were just totally in love. <laughs> so yes, that's definitely a must have. You should really get that. Um, look, it makes my hair really shiny. Um, I used it also when I, um, did the Seattle Naturals photo shoot again. And I think that's why my hair held up so well because it had a nice uh, <laughs> protective coating of this birdie oil on it when it started to rain and uh, hair puffed all out. But it, it held in there for quite, quite a while and I was very happy about that. So I'm gonna contribute that to the birdie oil. Um, anyway, so this is what it's looking like. Lots of movement. I think, yes, next time I think I will use the um, perm rods because they're a tighter curl and I think it'll hold up better. The looser curl, we'll see how well it holds up, but I do like it. I like the stretch that the rollers gave. Um, I like the movement in my hair. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, Go ahead and get dressed and take a picture. I put my face on. Um, but anyway, go ahead and purchase your Good Hair in a Bottle products at goodhairinabottle.com. And uh, be sure to enter to win the 20% off discount by interacting with Good Hair um, on their Facebook. Post a picture, tag Good Hair is, with hashtag Good Hair is ours. Good Hair is ours. <laughs> Um, in order to win that 20% discount. Um, holidays are coming up. You're going to want that. All right, ladies and gentlemen out there that hardly ever interact with us, I'm watching you. All right, I'll holler at you later. Bye.